मॉर्निंग डे स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन पार्ट वन काउंटिंग कॉम्बिनेशन पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू नाउ टुडे वील सी लेसन नंबर फाइव दैट इज काउंटिंग कॉम्बिनेशन पार्ट थ्री इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज मल्टीप्लीकेशन मेथड जस्ट कंसिडर सपोज समबडी हैज गिवन यू अ कोड एंड यू हैव टू केस दैट देन फर्स्ट वॉट यू विल डू you will try to crack that code okay you will guess the first letter or number then second and then third so just consider let us consider one example there is a code which is of three character long right so that code is made up of vowels first thing is code is made up of vowels second repetition of the vowels in the code is allowed and third is the length of that code is 3 character long okay now how many possible combinations we can make out of that let us see we know it very well code is a combination of vowels and we have vowels number of vowels five with us that is a e i o u so these are five possible letters we can write for the first character as i told you there will be three characters in the code so for first character we can write a particular letter from the set of a e i o u as repetition is allowed so at second character also we can use the same set of vowels that is i o u a e i o u again that is five and at third character also the same situation as repetition is allowed that's why we can consider all five vowels can particularly we can consider that is also five so we will get number of choices that we can do possible combination of particular that code we can get 5 into 5 into 5 that is equal to 125 that's why we can get total 125 possible combinations from the set of five vowels for our three for our code which is three character long now let us see we will just count number of paths in a map as you can see in the picture there are black lines so it indicates paths and some letters are there so that in particular letter indicates the city name p for pune v for washi uh, mumbai and goa so as you can see in the picture from pune to washi there are five different paths which you can follow to reach from pune to washi and from washi to mumbai there are four different paths which you have to which you can follow and from mumbai to goa you have to follow two paths so if we can see in the picture our first step will be the number of routes from pune to washi will be 5 number number of routes from washi to mumbai is 4 and number of routes from mumbai to goa is 2 so if we will apply multiplication rule then total number of routes from pune to goa will be 5 into 4 into 2 that is equal to 40 so like this we can calculate total number of paths right thank you